Hi everyone, it's Tammy and I'm sorry that this is being filmed later in the month than I, than I wanted to, but it is already February 7th. Hopefully I'll have this up in the next couple of days, but it is my January finished objects. So I have quite a few knitted things that I did in January. I was quite surprised that I was able to get so much done. I also have a clip that I'm going to be posting at the end of the things that I did for my son because he was here yesterday and I let him have his things. So I did a pair of socks for him and dishcloths for him and those are at the very end because I did the video already for those. But the first thing I want to show you are these socks that I made for my daughter. These are called Aureli socks, A-U-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I will try to remember to link this stuff on the um, notes below, but if I don't, just go to my Ravelry page. Everything is there almost. Hopefully it will be by the time this is posted. But um, these I used a, a yarn called Perfect Pair from Loops and Threads. And this pair of socks only took half of the skein. So I still have a half a skein and I started a pair of shorty socks for myself. I didn't want them to be this long. So mine are probably, I don't know, about like this. And I'm only to about here on my first pair. So they look kind of look our first sock. So they kind of look kind of funny right now. And these look really small, but these do stretch nicely and they fit. And I haven't made a ton of socks, so I am pretty impressed with myself. Um, these are really cute. The pattern is just really neat. There's a neat little crossover there and then some yarn overs to make some cute eyelets. Aww. And that carries around to the back. And then um, I don't know what kind of a heel this is, but it had some slip stitches in it and then the heel. And then you just carried the pattern on the first half. So the front of the sock has the pattern or the top of the sock, but the bottom of the sock does not. Winnie, it's okay. She wants me to knit her some socks. And then here's the bottom and the toes. I just think it turned out really cute. I love this pattern. I thought it was really neat. And I don't know why, but I really like like the, the little making of stuff. So I don't know, I think I might be a sock knitter maybe. I don't know, but I do enjoy that. And then I also made her a set of dishcloths and hers is the dishcloth recipe. Actually, I think that's what all of them are, but the dishcloth recipe and I used a yarn. I used a size seven needle. And I use Premier Yarns, Home, Cotton, Solids, and Marls. And this is in the color Aquamarine Speckle. And um, it's really nice yarn. It's super soft. And it's um, got a little bit of polyester in it. I think it's 85% cotton and 15% polyester. And it's just really nice. It turned out really cute. I really like it. Um, and I made her two of these. So... It's kind of like the grandma's dishcloth, if you guys have made that, but it has a little something to make it a little more square. You do a little something, something, but it's a free pattern, so it's not a big deal. You just do a couple short rows to make it so it looks a little more square. And one skein of this yarn at Michael's is $1.99, so, and you can get two washcloths from it. So I think that's a pretty fair deal, a dollar a washcloth. And you know they'll last forever. And then I started to make myself a pair. And this is what mine are going to look like. So I thought those were really cute. This I've only done one. So that's a ho. Uh, I also did a test knit that I finished in January. And it is now available. I believe it's under Moxie. And um, Sabrina Harnage. Or Sabina. Sorry, it's not Sabrina. Sabina Harnage is the uh, designer and it is super cute and cozy and warm and I wore it today out and I got a compliment on it already and I've worn this is the second time I've worn it and every time I've worn it I've gotten compliments and it is under the jacket category because it is extra soft and cushy and nice and um, she did hers in wool in the gang and hers kind of stands up a little bit better. I think my yarn choice wasn't the best, but I love it. I have to say that I really love it. And she put toggles on it to hold it closed. I don't think I want toggles on mine. I think I'm just going to put a one button like here and um, make it so that it closes right there. And I just love it. 
So I think I'm going to put like one button maybe right here so that it doesn't have to stay closed, but that it, um, you know, kind of just, I don't know. I just thought that might look cute. So I love this knit, super cute knit, super fast knit. If you guys are looking for something with chunky yarn that you can knit quickly, I say go for it. And to be perfectly honest, I made one in Lion's Brand Thick and Quick, and I made the size extra small for my daughter, but um, I somebody was here and she is the same size as my daughter, so I gave it to her already, but it literally took me a day. I finished it, started it and finished, I don't know where to look, I'm kind of going an hour over, sorry. I literally started and finished it within the day. And she was able to take it home with her, wear it home with her. It was fabulous. It was really nice. Super fast knit. And it's just great. Um, let's see. The next one I did is called the January hat. It's by Courtney Kelly. And she has a hat for every month of the year. And so my plan is to knit the monthly hat every month. And I'm going to do it in the birthstone color. So January is garnet. And so I found this beautiful like garnet red yarn. And it is Yarn B, uh, Soft Secret Solids. I used one skein of, and it's in the shade or the colorway Chili Red, C-H-I-L-I. -I, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I can tell you that all these baubles, they were kind of fun to start. And then they were a pain and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do all these baubles. And then this patterning was really kind of fun to do too. The baubles, I'm not gonna lie, by the time I got to the top, I was sick of doing baubles, but the hat turned out really cute. I can put it on and show you guys. I'm not a hat person really, but it is cute. It doesn't have really much slouch. It's just kind of a beanie kind of a topper, but I think it's cute, not necessarily on me, but it is cute and I'm excited about it and I'm these dogs man I'm excited about um doing one for every month I think that'll be fun so I haven't done the January the February one yet but I need to get a start on that let's see Christmas stocking I made this for my grandchild that is going to be due in May or June we're not exactly sure but I made a huge huge Christmas sock for her. I did not plan on it being this big. I was following a pattern called Christmas Stocking by the Lunatic Cafe, and I doubled it because I wanted it to be extra big, and it was extra big. So she can fit in this the first year, I think, and I think it'll be really cute to have her, a picture of her in it, but it's like super, hopefully you can see the halo, super soft yarn, and I just did an off-white color up here, and then obviously the pink color down here and it is really cute. Um, I used heart red or red heart dreamy yarn for this. So acrylic yarn, but um, super soft and durable and she can wear this or she can have this at Grammy's house when she's here. So that is for her. I have lots of things for her. So let's see. Um, and I don't have this in Ravelry yet, and I couldn't pull up which one, that, which design this is, but I will put this in Ravelry. But this is a cute little dress, and has little eyelets on the top, and just some pearl stitching design. And I made it short sleeve. I don't remember if it called for short sleeve or not, but I liked it short sleeve. I think it's just a really sweet dress. Yeah. And I will, I know that this is acrylic yarn as well. I'm not sure what the colorway is, but I know I got it at Hobby Lobby. And next I have a romper that is from Benji, Benja Kirk. Oh my goodness. If you have grandbabies or babies to knit for, good grief. It's my dog. Um, check out her stuff because she is a wonderful designer and I made this cute little raspberry romper. Now I did not block it yet. I don't know if I'm going to. Um, I know I should, but it's going on an infant, so I don't know, but has cute little side paneling with some pearl stitching. And then the front has this raspberry looking bobbly kind of stitch and the cute little 
um, oh, whatever these are called, the little, oh goodness, what are those called? <sighs> whatever, the little arms are so cute and it's just adorable. And these are buttons, so you can unbutton them to take them on and off. And sorry, my nails are atrocious. I know I've been working hard around the house. So um, yeah, I thought this was super cute. Look how cute that is. I can't wait to make some more rompers and stuff from her. And this is from, um, this yarn is Malabrigo Rios. And I think it's in the color denim, if I'm not mistaken. I don't exactly remember which color I, way I used, but this is 100% super wash, so you can wash and dry this too. And it is squishy, squishy. I love working with Malabrigo and I love the colors and the tonal that they put in their yarn. It's just so beautiful. So I can't wait to see her in this. Oh, I'm so excited. And next I have a big chunky, I need to delete these as I, uh, Winnie, it's okay. Oh, where is it? My big chunky. Okay, I've talked about that one. Um, let me go back to my projects. Because I have a big chunky diaper cover that I don't think I pulled up. I knew it was in here. The very chunky diaper cover. I also made a pair of bunny slippers, but I've already given them to them. Oh, I wish I could have shown you those. Those were so cute. And those were super easy. So this is a pattern from Jenna Swanson, and it's called the Very Chunky Diaper Cover, and it uses big, huge, chunky yarn, and this is acrylic, and again, this is from um, Hobby Lobby, and I didn't write down the yarn that I used, and I usually do, but I did not, so it's just, I just followed her pattern um, exactly for this, and then I put these big, huge, flowery buttons on just to make it super cute. And I could just see her crawling around with this on. Isn't that cute? Look at the back. It's just really cute. So I'm excited about this. I think this yarn is super fun. So that's cute. And I made a bonnet. I think that's next. Um, I used... BB Baby Bonnets by Mariana Mel. And I used Red Heart Dreamy. This is the same yarn that I used for her stocking. And I only used about 50 yards. And it is super cute. So it fits on her head like, you know, like that. And then I crocheted just a single braided thing and then I put the a little bow on there so I thought that was super cute little baby bonnet isn't that cute so that's for Hazel and am I on my last thing I am oh my goodness I saved the best for last just double checking yes indeed so my finished projects, I still have some whips, but this is my finished project. And this was also a test knit. And I know that this is available. This is called Teddy, which it's rightly called. And it's by Vanessa Cossarelli Black. So if you look up Teddy, T-E-D-D-Y, Vanessa Black is the designer. And look at how cute this sweater is. Oh my goodness. It is so cute and it's the same furry on the inside as it is the outside it is just adorable and this you there's a couple different brands that sell this beautiful faux fur yarn and it is pretty warm but um this particular one is from Hobby Lobby and I think I wrote it down in here and then I also used the Lion brand Woolies for the collar and the bottom and the sleeves um fun and fast knit finished it in a day i made this a mala size for my granddaughter who will make it, be making her debut in late spring early summer so it should be perfect for the winter of 2021 that's what i wrote down and this is yarn b for the moment in the color mink 
and I got it at Hobby Lobby and I bought it on December 31st and I think I knit this on January 1st. I mean, it was a quick, quick knit. It is super cute. And then this is uh, Lion Woolies and it's in the color Oatmeal. And I used this for a ton of things. I did a sweat, I did a hat for my son's girlfriend. I did a blanket for my son. And then I also used it for this. And it's just on the cuffs and then the bottom and the collar. But isn't this just the cutest thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can just picture her wearing this with a little pair of black leggings and some sunglasses and a big bow in her hair and some Ugg boots. Oh my gosh. I'm going to eat her up. But yeah. <laughs> um, and these, this goes up from, this is a wonderful pattern. It goes from six months. So this is the smallest one up to, I think, a 5X. Now, I personally don't think I'd want to wear it. One, it's super hot. And two, I don't need anything that's this puffy and <laughs> more puffy to me. But, oh my gosh, how wonderful is this? I mean, it's so soft and squishy and just, oh, it feels great. So I hope that you guys check this pattern out for sure. Um, and this moxie. I love it, love it, love it. I'm actually getting warm just wearing it because it's so cushy and cozy and warm and oh so those are all of my January finished objects I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon bye oh and stay watching to see stuff I got for Alex <laughs> bye okay so I really love you guys if I am doing a video today when I have not taken a shower and have been uh crazy working but my son is on his way over to help me do some stuff and he's going to take some of my knits. So I wanted to show you these before he took them um, because I'm giving, I'm gifting them to him, of course. So um, this is going to be added to my January finished objects. I have two finished washcloths. I love this color. They're very, very soft and nice. This is um, Premier House or Premier Home cotton. I got this at Michael's. It was $1.99 a skein, and each skein made two, yes, two uh, dishcloths. And I just followed the Granny's favorite dishcloth or whatever. Um, it's on Ravelry, and it's super easy, and it just has, like, a little decorative yarn over on the edge and it is really nice now i did 46 stitches i believe and um i almost ran out of yarn i was doing yarn chicken on one of these i'm not sure which so one of them i think it might have been this one because i can kind of see a funny thing on the end here um this one <clears throat> it i didn't get to do <clears throat> like i had to i had to like scrunch some of this up I didn't so one side it's not exactly half and half because I was almost running out of yarn so I did it I like did a couple more knit twos together than I should have because I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of yarn and I didn't even have enough to like show you what the leftovers were so it did make two of these and it is beautiful um it's very soft and cottony well, it's cotton. Uh, this is a medium, and this is in the colorway Granite Splash. And I should have the details. Um, it's 85% cotton and 15% polyester, so maybe that's why it's so soft. I do, I do have it linked on my Ravelry page with the pattern and everything, so you can check it out there. So that is one thing that he's going to be getting today are the two dishcloths, which I absolutely love. And I will show you, um, I did another set for my daughter and I started a set for me. So yeah, I really like this yarn. And then um, I finished his socks. Woohoo! So I have an FO and I know I don't have a fancy thing to show you, but I followed a pattern that I do not remember the name of. Or did I follow a pattern? I had to have followed a pattern for the heels and toes. Yes, I did. Hold on. I think I might even have it right here. I did. It's Wise Hilda's Basic Ribbed Sock. 
I think this might be a free pattern, but I'm not positive. But here is the sock. Again, it is linked in my Ravelry page. It was, um, so it's got ribbing up here at the top that goes all the way down to the toe. My son wears a size 13, so these are like extra long, like 12 inches long of the foot. And I just followed her pattern on the heel and the toe as well. I'm not a sock knitter exactly, so I'm learning and I love it, but I'm not the best. But I love this yarn. I mean, it really did a good job of striping up. Now it doesn't exactly match. You can see how in that blue right there, how it doesn't match up exactly. Um, you know, but it for the most part, it's pretty cool. And this yarn, I have this much left of making the size 13s and it is the premier wool free sock and this is 235 yards it's 93 percent acrylic seven percent pbt i have no idea what that is it's super fine yarn um uh, it says two balls of yarn per one pair of adult sock socks that's right it was two i did use two of these so this is what's left of both i connected them i did two so there were two yard two uh skeins of this to make his sock so one per sock so um but like i said it is did i tell you how many yards 235 yards so I don't know it was great so I guess if you I guess that equates to one skein of like fingering weight yarn but um yeah yay I think they turned out really cute I like them a lot I can't wait for him to um have them he's tried one of them on when I first got done with it to make sure that it fit and it did so I went ahead and did the second one and I'm just looking at the heels and I see that so in this one you had to do a knit and then a slip stitch and in this one I didn't do that for some reason oops oh well I'm not taking it back um so that is that and I will be on probably before this to show you the rest of the things for January <laughs> thank you